Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing. It's an honor to be out here in nature and greeting you. You know that I'm bringing a message of emancipation to you, a message that will set you free. A message that will help you to understand that you are just energy, vibration, and frequency. And that it is your duty upon the face of this earth to discover your true identity or your divinity. Thus the reason why I want to speak to you concerning Abdullah's messages. And if you are familiar with Neville Goddard, you know that Neville Goddard mentor was Abdullah. And that Abdullah is the black mystic from Ethiopia. And I've written a book called The Black Mystic from Ethiopia, Neville Goddard Mentor. And if you're interested, you can get that book. Also, it's on Amazon. Now, Neville Goddard is well respected by people all around the world since the internet has really showcased him a lot and many has been following the message our uh, messages that was taught to Neville Goddard by Abdullah and many haven't stopped to think also, many have gotten caught up with the hype of the love attraction and get caught up in the getting instead of the being. And so it's like the fish coming out of the frying pan and going right into the fire. I know that what we normally say, you, you jump out of the frying pan and jump into the fire. Because it's basically the same thing that is happening. Now, when I grew up here in the Caribbean, we were taught to go to school and get a good education and look for a job. And we were taught all these things from our parents and our teachers and many of us believe these things. And up to this day, many can't break out of that kind of mentality. And so when you look around, most of our people, they have an employee mentality and they are always chasing after money and they do not have no time for themselves. They're always tired. By the time they finish working, they're tired. They're not spending any time in meditation. And so they waste their life chasing after money. And then, when reality strikes them, and they realize one day that they're going to die, then they go and they join themselves to a so-called church and call on Jesus Christ, believing that there was a man who existed 2,000 years ago named Jesus Christ. But Abdullah, who wanted to bring the true message of self-realization to our people he did it to a white man named Neville Goddard to teach us that the Bible is not literal neither is the Bible secular history teaching us that the Bible just is the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically and it all have to do with our consciousness and that we have lost our consciousness because we believe that what, what was given to us after slavery and because of that we believe in a God outside of ourselves and we no longer trust the creative power that is within ourselves that's the reason why Abdullah through his lectures taught Neville Goddard that Jesus Christ is only a personification of your own human imagination which is the creator in man and then when you go in the scriptures, you can clearly see it. St. John 1 and 3 tells you, without him, there isn't anything made that was made, and that all things was made by him. And everything in this world that was made was first imagined. And everything else that ever going to be made must first be imagined. Now, there are many who have said to me, I've heard your message, and you're teaching the message of Neville Garden. And many times I said to them, I'm teaching the message of Abdullah. Because all of those lectures that you're hearing from Neville Goddard, it was because he would have gone to the many, many, many lectures of Abdullah and study the Kabbalah and study how to interpret the Bible psychologically by Abdullah, who is our ancestor. So he going to these lectures and hearing Abdullah lecture, he retained a lot of these things 
within himself because he look up to Abdullah as his teacher and his mentor and even call him Ab. And we know Abba means father. He respected Abdullah showing us who we were before slavery. Showing us the power and the science that our ancestors was using before slavery. So all of these lectures that's out there and all of these books that was written by Neville Gallant it's basically our science that has come back to us. Through Abdullah showing love to a people who are oppressed, a people, and teaching it, and teach by teaching him the love consciousness, teaching him true love, teaching him true oneness, teaching him that we do not have to hate and fight each other because there's more than enough wealth in the world showing us that we do not need to enslave anyone showing us that we do not need to compete showing us that we need to only believe within ourselves showing us that we have to share the wisdom share the knowledge Share the understanding and let each one teach one. Teaching the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. Now those who have hidden the truth about this black mystic from Ethiopia by only speaking about Neville Gallard only and trying to put Neville Gallard on a petty stone. Now when I bring across my messages, they want to talk about the oneness. But if there's going to be oneness, there must be honesty. There must be truth. For there can never be oneness without truth. You can never be God and do not speak truth. Because God is the truth and the truth is God. Okay? So my brother and my sisters, I'm standing on the principle of truth. Because I'm standing on the principle of the messages of Abdullah. And these messages of Abdullah was started Neville Gallant. And Neville Gallant had an experience of the greatest love he had ever experienced in his life. For when there was a time of shortage, of shortages of food, clothes, cl cl clothes, even shelter, in a time of a great economic storm, in, in what's supposed to be the, the, the greatest country in the world, there was a black man who knew the love consciousness and was willing to teach a white man when people of his complexion was even suffering even more. That is true love. And this is me now bringing another side of love whereby I'm saying genuine love is corrective. And Abdullah was correcting the error and here am I correcting the error by telling our people to get out of idolatry and start believing in a God outside of themselves and start believing in a Jesus Christ at 2,000 years ago by giving, by, because when they do that, they are giving away their true power. They are giving away their creative power that they can use to create their every desire. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I believe I've gotten my message across to you, which is basically the message that Abdullah was trying to bring across to our people. And always remember, every time you listen to Neville Gallen, you're listening to the lectures or the messages of Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia. So it's a black people's message to wake them up, for them to align themselves with nature, and for them to experience the promise in their life for them to exercise the power within them, for them to go to bed more consciously, and for them to look at the Bible psychologically. That's why I'm out here in nature, bringing this message of truth, bringing this message of light, bringing this message awakening our people and saying it is time to awake from the dream 
and learn to see, and see God face to face, whereby you call the place pineal, or, or, or you say the place of the pineal gland. That's the place I'm pointing you to, the place that you need to wake up. So with that me said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. And for those of you who would listen to me, and the message of self-realization is resonating with you, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, and to comment, and to send positive energy towards me and towards everyone else so that we all will stand together because there is power in unity and when there is unity there is strength now i want to give you the sign of enlightenment of which matthew 6 22 says if your eye be single and this is the single eye message of self-realization that i'm bringing across to you of which abdullah has really taught neville also he said, if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light and i'm saying to you my brother and my sister when you have the experience you will come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And that is the dawning of a new day in your life. And that without the sun there is no life and there is no light. And that the sun is the light of the world and not Jesus Christ of 2,000 years ago. Not a man who died on a literal cross 2,000 years ago as they wanted to believe. And that without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. And we are the people of the sun. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, apply the message of Abdullah in your life and learn to use your mind power to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.